Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite beat em up video games. Beat em ups are, you know, a great storytelling genre for video games. Uh, they've Beat em ups have actually been part of video games almost as long as driving games. Um, you know, although sometimes the stories might not be as in well depth as as some of the others, you know, they still do try to, you know, at least give some sort of story. Uh, they've always been fun. It's been, you know, a great couch co-op uh, style of thing. Um, you know, where it's just way too much fun. Um, now, some games actually have blurred the line between beat 'em ups. Um, you know, some people consider uh, what is it, uh, Sunset Heroes or Sunset Riders. Um, sorry about that. As a beat 'em up as well, uh, it also could be considered a run and gun. Um, I actually probably consider it a run and gun, which is why it's not on this list. Uh, also, with this list, I'm not presenting any of the games in any particular order. I do like some of the games more than I like others, but I just haven't really taken the time to create an, a, a top 10 list for this game, uh, for this game genre. Um, so we're going to start off with uh, one of my favorites is Guardian Heroes, released on the Sega Saturn in 1996 by Treasure. Uh, this game is a ton of fun. You can go through and select multiple characters, which is one of my favorite features for beat-em-ups. Uh, if, if you can't select multiple characters, then, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like a feeling a little bit of a loss. Um, some of the games where, uh, you know, that the characters are pretty much exactly the same and just a, a different coloring of them, you know, that is not the same thing to me. But again, Guardian Heroes, really great game, lots of interesting gameplay, um, good storyline, great graphics for the Sega Saturn, and the game is actually re-released on the Xbox 360 Arcade, and I believe it's going to be on the Xbox One soon, I hope. Um, so the next one is the Final Fight series. I know I'm naming another series, but uh, all of the games flow together very well. Uh, these are all on the Super Nintendo that I'm mentioning. Um, they started in 1989, and Capcom is basically the force behind these. Um, you know, basic storyline, uh, you know, go through, beat up bad guys, um, and there's multiple versions, uh, the rarest one actually being Final Fight Guy. Um, unfortunately, I had a chance to purchase one of these when I was a lot younger, um, and I just didn't understand that Blockbuster got uh, exclusives. You know, so back then, I actually worked for Blockbuster when we were selling Final Fight Guy, and we were selling it for $2.99, and I should have picked it up, but I didn't. Um, but all of the games are very much worth playing. Now we're going to flip the coin and go over to Streets of Rage on the Genesis, released 1991 by Sega. This is uh, another great game. Uh, it focuses a little bit more on gameplay than Final Fight does. Uh, so Final Fight might have the better storyline, but Streets of Rage, uh, some people say, including myself, has a little bit better gameplay. Um, you know, it just it feels a little bit smoother, it feels like you can move a little bit faster. Uh, but again, you know, both series are really great, uh, and, you know, and both of them are definitely worth playing. So next is going to be the Golden Axe series, uh, 1989 by Sega. Golden Axe is just mainly just a, uh, a beat-em-up that's in, set up in the fantasy world. Um, they were trying to capitalize on like some of the uh, fantasy movies that were coming out like uh, the Conan, Conan series, the Red Sonja series and stuff like that and um, they actually ended up making a very decent game. Um, these are you know a little bit harder to come by. Um, they actually even came out with a fighting game on the Sega Saturn as well. Um, my favorite of the series is actually Golden Axe Death Adler. Um, or Revenge of Death Adler. Uh, it's actually an only an arcade uh, game. I'm hoping that 
uh, one of the virtual consoles will actually come out with this game sometime soon. Uh, it, it deserves a little bit more press than what it's been getting, um, and it's it's definitely worth your time. Uh, next next we have the Double Dragon series. Um, I've played Double Dragon through various consoles, uh, starting on the Sega Master System, going through Genesis, uh, doing Super Nintendo. Um, I did kind of like avoid the uh, PC release. It was Double Dragon Neo. Um, I thought that was a little uh, too far tongue-in-cheek for my taste. Uh, but, you know, it's been released on multiple consoles. Uh, the first release was like 1987, and the main force behind it is uh, Taito. Um, you know, they, you know, it's always the classic same story where, um, you know, uh, the two brothers are getting together and they're trying to rescue the girlfriend, one of their girlfriends, or a girl, or they're trying to go around the world and, and uh, get the Rosetta Stones, and that's the, the one for the the, uh, the storyline for the Rosetta Stone. But it, it's it's also just a really good game. Um, I, I still have issues with the whole, like, you know, characters being exactly the same, and the only difference really was the... Uh, um, yeah, the coloring, the color palette on on the sprites, uh, but you know, not to deter too much from the game, it is actually a good series and definitely worth your time. Next up, we have D and D, the arcade series. Now, um, there were two D and D games that were actually released on the arcade by Capcom. Uh, one was released in 1993, and one was released in 1996. Um, you know. Both of these games are absolutely stellar. Um, you can go through and uh, you know pick very various classic uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons uh, style characters, um, and you beat up on D and D style monsters and cast magic and get equipment and get rings and get potions and stuff. Um, I definitely remember playing this game like quite often. Uh, uh, in uh, a actual comic book shop that was local here uh, that I just absolutely loved. Uh, I loved being able to play with multiple people at the same time. We would all get together and just, you know, spend about 30 minutes or so on this game. So, you know, it was just a wonderful series. Um, Capcom did an excellent job. Uh, back then, TSR made a really good choice on going with Capcom to represent their brand and, and in a video game format that um, is still standing the test of time today. Uh, both of the games are available on the Xbox 360 arcade download for, or digital download. Um, I believe they're also available on Steam as well. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful series and it's again, you know, I know I keep saying this, but you know, all of these games on my list are definitely worth your time. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.